Okay. Um, let's get an audio test real quick. Just say your name. Clinton Dunn. Good. Okay. Well, Clinton, Clint, you know, you, um, I mean, why, why today? I'm just, I've been staying out of the way of law enforcement all this time. I thought I was doing the best thing by you know, not coming down on law enforcement. And I've just, it's been too many years of no action. Nothing's been done. So I'm tired of waiting. Um, I had my, the investigator over the case right now out of Scurry County, he told me one time, he said he doesn't care if it takes 20 years to do this. And I do care if it takes 20 years. I don't want the person that hurt my kid that doesn't need to walk the street for 20 years. You think that person is still out there somewhere? Yeah. I think he's here in this town. Big Spring, Texas. You think he's in Big Spring? Mm-hmm. I know he was two months ago. You have somebody in mind? Sean Atkins. Sean, you think it's Sean Atkins, the mm -hmm. only named suspect? Yep. And I think that Billie Jean knows something. She said too many lies. She's avoided too much. And she knows more than what she said. What do you think happened? I, I don't have, I don't know. And I've thought of every scenario, of everything possible I've thought of. Stuff that's added to aliens, to aliens I've thought of. I don't know what happened. I don't know where it happened. But I'm 99% sure that somebody killed Haley there at her house. And I think it was Sean. How well did you know Sean? Oh, I didn't know him too good at all. Me and Billie Jean went through the divorce and that was her boyfriend. So we were kind of wanting best friends, you know. Uh, he came to my house one time, we got into a fight in Snyder. A lot of people don't know that. He showed up on my doorstep one time, wanting to fight. What? I don't know. He just said, he was one of the fights, he called me outside in the front yard. And uh, so I went out there, it was my property, and I was gonna get him off my property. So I stood in the front yard as he's now running to his car. He says, I got something for you. And I looked at the street, Dell Ostrander had gave him a ride over. I looked at Dell, looked back at him. I ran and I caught him at the car before he could get whatever it was he had. And we commenced to fight and I put him to sleep on the yard and called the cops on him. And he went to jail and to the hospital. How long was that? How long ago was that? Obviously before- Yeah, it was Haley before. Missing. How long before that? I want to say it was in 2010. How long were, were, were Billy and, and Sean together? Um, from what I know, this isn't what I've been told, but the, she got with him as soon as we got the divorce, or as soon as we separated in 2008. And then I had found a picture at, there at her house that was a copy of a picture, and it had, a, had the timestamp on it, and it was from three months prior to when we got separated. So, around January of 2008 is when they got together. And then Haley went missing? Two years later. Two years later. Oh, there have been all kinds of stories as to what has happened, what happened to, to, to Haley. Um, one of the most prevalent out there is that Sean Atkins and Billy Dunn owed money to somebody. And, and then she was taken because of that. And yeah, I've heard of that. Um, Were they, drugs, did they play a part in, in, in Sean Atkins and in, in, in Billy's life, a, a big part in it? See, this is, this is the thing here. I was with Billie Jean for 14 years. We lived together. We got together when we were 17 years old, had Haley when we was 20. So there's nobody else in the world that knows her better than me, probably. And for that 14 years, there was no porn involved in our relationship. There were no drugs involved in our relationship. And there were no 
all the research that she did on all the evil people and, and serial killers and stuff, there was none of that around. That's right, I forgot about that, yeah. And uh, one thing that a lot of people don't know is about the, the Wiccan Bible that she had. Did you know she had that? I didn't, I didn't. Yeah. Um, Haley went missing, I guess, that Monday. She was reported missing that Tuesday. Either Wednesday or Thursday, I went to my friend's house, Raymond Floyd, and uh, his girlfriend was, used to be Billie Jean's friend also. As soon as his girlfriend left the room, Raymond said, hey man, there's something I gotta tell you. He says, you know, Vicky's gonna get mad at me or whatever, but I've gotta tell you this. He said, Billie Jean brought a book over earlier and asked us not to say nothing to nobody and to get rid of it, to burn it, or to get rid of it and don't tell anybody. I said, what book? He says, this is some kind of witchcraft book. So right then I called um, the FBI. I had the FBI, FBI's phone number and I called him right then. Um, they came over within minutes and got the book and they talked to Vicky. I don't think I've ever been back to Vicky's house since. I've never talked to her about it. I would like to know the conversation. How did it go when Billie Jean brought that book over? What, what was said? And why did Billie Jean want to get rid of this book within a day or two of Haley being missing? That was one thing that she wanted to get rid of and hide. Not just get rid of she wanted to hide it. She didn't want police to find that. And I don't know why. Does Vicky still live over in Colorado City? As far as I know, she probably still lives in the same house. Really? Um, let's go back to when Haley was found where she was found. What do you know about that spot? What do, you, what, what do you know? What do you think Sean knows about that spot? Well, I know, I know law enforcement came and seized his, his cell phone. They had a warrant for it and they got all the cell phone pings from all the towers. And they seen Sean all over the countryside around Colorado City. Mm -hmm. And it pinged right over there where the body was found. Now, when law enforcement asked Sean what were you doing driving around the country? He says, I was just thinking, driving around, drinking some beer. Is what he told law enforcement. But he pinged that Monday. His cell phone pinged off a cell phone tower right next to J.B. Thomas. Where she was found. Where she was found. Talk about Sean's movements the day that, she, that Haley was reported missing. Because they, they, they talked about him going to work and leaving work without telling anybody. I've seen the video footage of him going to work. Um, he walks into the door, kind of looks around. It's kind of like a, a little lobby area in front of the, the first doors you work yeah, or at his work. Um, he walked into the door, went to the vending machine, got a Dr. Pepper. And then he went and kind of stood in the back and just stood there and drank his Dr. Pepper for about a half a minute. Just kind of looking at everybody. And then he walks out the door. Uh, they asked him where did he go after that. He gave several stories about where he's gone after that. He said he went to his grandma's house and done. He said he went straight back home. He said he went to his grandmother's house or his mom's house yeah, that's right. in Big Spring. He gave all those stories. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I was told by the person that used to give Billie Jean a ride to work, another nurse, used, they used to carpool together. She got a hold of me a few nights ago and she says, I'm the person, I'm the one that gave Billie Jean a ride to work every day. She called me that morning and said that she didn't need a ride, that Sean was going to take her to work. So that's another lie that's been told because law enforcement never was told that Sean gave her a ride to work. She told them that her friend gave her a ride. Now that exact same friend contacted me and said she didn't give her a ride. When did you learn that? A couple of days ago. Why, why a couple of days ago? I don't know, that's when she contacted me after I started doing these Facebook videos and blowing this back up. I've had a lot of people contact me. I've had Billie Jean's family contact me, her close friends right now contact me, her close friends from back then. 
have contacted me and said they know that she knows something. So you started doing these 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 Facebook videos, uh, and which has stirred some some attention. Which is what your intention was, I guess, to stir some attention back up, right? Yeah, it's worked so far. Yep, and that's how the police department needs to show action, and they're not. <laughs> I've gone into John McDaniel's office a lot of times. I used to. Tell I, who John McDaniel was. John McDaniel was the. the uh, He's the investigator for the case right now out of Scurry County. He's supposedly the only investigator. It's all in his hands. Every time I've ever gone to his office, he was sitting behind his desk eating. I mean, I would show up um, uninvited. I would just show up to his office. And I gave him information that he didn't even know about. Like, there was an Xbox that the FBI took that was David's Xbox, and it had taken a picture of Haley at 11 o'clock that night is what I've been told by the FBI. Well, when I talked to John McDaniel one time, I said, I want that picture. I, I said, there's nothing, why can't I have that picture, a copy of that picture, this is the last picture taken of my daughter. Why can't I have it? And uh, he says, what Xbox? I said, the Xbox did, is in evidence, dude. He didn't know. He didn't even, he says, I'm gonna have to go back and look. Where'd the Xbox come from? It was David's Xbox from David's bedroom. Her brother's bedroom. Her brother's bedroom in in her house. Hi. Yes. You're fine. It was a uh, yeah in the house. FBI came. That was one of the first things that they seized, and they've had that in their possession ever since. They they went and bought David another brand new Xbox to give him back an Xbox, and they they still they have took that, that Xbox. One. Mm -hmm. And that has the capability of shooting a picture in it. It, it had the connect hooked it up to it. Had to connect it. on it. Mm -hmm. So the Kinect took a picture of her at 11 o'clock that night. Yeah. It was the next morning or the next day that she was walking to her friend's house. Supposedly the next day is the, when she told Sean she was gonna go to my house and then to a friend's house. Sean is the last person to see her. Sean, that is confirmed. Sean was the last person to see her. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you talked to Sean? Within that week, I had gone over to Billie Jean's house several times to do the Nancy Grace show. We did that there at her house. And just to, to get with her and try to talk about what's going on, where, what, what are the possibilities? And at the time, the last thing that I wanted to think that Sean and Billie Jean had something to do with this. I don't know if I was in denial all these years, or I, I wanted that to be the last thing. I didn't want that to be it. But now that I've thought about it for eight years, I, it's clear. And their actions are clear. Uh, but like I said, within that first week of Haley being missing, I went over there several times. About the, the Wednesday or that Thursday, I went over there and had to use the bathroom, okay? And the washing machine's in the bathroom. I had smelled an overwhelming smell of laundry detergent. And I didn't really, it didn't dawn on me till years later. I thought, why? I'd known that, I knew that lady for 14 years and she's never used that much laundry detergent. I don't know how she washed the clothes. Why was it so strong that day? Why was laundry detergent so strong that day? Within like three days after Hattie missing. All these years later, you're, 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 you're realizing things. You're finding stuff out. First thing was uh, this Wiccan or witchcraft Bible. That, that I knew about that. You I knew about that. That was three days later. I'm the one that called the FBI. Three days later, I was at my friend's house, and he's the one that, he told me, he says, she brought a book over this morning, told me to get rid of it. So that was three days after uh, Haley went missing. But you said this person, Vicky, right? Yeah called you a couple of days ago and, and explained more to you about this, right? No, no. Uh, it was another friend of Billie Jean's that okay. had called me that w worked with her. Oh, that's right. And uh, she was the person that gave her a ride to work. Oh, and okay. she got a hold of me and said that she didn't give Billie Jean. That Billie Jean called her that morning or got a hold of her that morning and said, don't come pick me up. I'm going to get a ride with Sean. And this is what you found out a couple of days ago? Yes. And then... You're thinking eight years later about this laundry detergent thing. Yeah, that came to me probably about two years later. I was just, just I, I replay this in my mind a lot. 
with all kinds of different scenarios, what could have possibly happened. And it came to me one day, man, why in the world did she use so much laundry detergent? That's not like her. I know her. I thought I knew her. Let me ask you this. Eight years has gone by. You decide you did the, the, the police are need need to you need to put some pressure on the police, and then you decide, hey, the one way to do this is to push that live button on Facebook Live. Yep. What what were you what what, what are you thinking? What, what what are you thinking when right before you do that? When you think, okay, I've I've got to do something. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm I'm. I'm, I'm scared, and I don't know what I'm going to say. I don't want to know what I'm going to say. I want it to come out totally natural and raw. I want people to see my thoughts and to see my pain. And I have a time. I want to push that button by 5 o'clock. So I'll pace the house for three or four or five hours before just pacing, getting mad and getting sad. And then when it comes time to push that button, I just push it and I start talking, whatever is on my mind. You're, you're, you've done a few things. You've, you're doing your Facebook Lives, you're doing interviews on the news, and you've hired an investigator. Yep. What are you hoping for? I'm hoping that the FBI will get back involved and take this case and solve it. I want there to be a court date. Uh, there's enough evidence, I believe, for a trial to start. And you think for, there's enough evidence? I think so. What's that evidence? Well, it's, it's all the circumstantial evidence that I've told you and that we all know about. And it's all the evidence that the police have, have and that they haven't told us about. You know, you think they, there's some of that? I mean, you think there's... Yeah. Yeah, there's got to be. I'm sure there is. And I'm just like the public as far as knowing what's going on in this case. I had to watch the news to find out every day what were the updates because they never told me anything. They didn't tell me how her remains were, how they were found, what they looked like, if they, no details at all. But John Young was Billie Jean's lawyer. He got to find out all that. Therefore, Billie Jean got to know. She knows how these bones were scattered, how many there were, whether animals had whether it was buried, Billie Jean got to know all this and she also got to have the body back, Haley's remains back when she didn't have custody of Haley. Because four days after all this had started, CPS came to Billie Jean's home and took both David and Haley out of Billie Jean's custody. Oh, they did? Yes. That's why David had to move to Snyder. He couldn't live there no more, CPS said. And, uh, who, did, who, who did he move to Snyder with? He moved to Snyder with Billie Jean's brother, Roger. How old was he at the time? David was 16. Okay. 16 years old. And to this day, he still hasn't talked to the police. He, he hasn't talked to He them. hasn't had an interview. Is that your son? Who's, uh, who's, whose son is David? He's Billie Jean's son. He's Billie Jean's I've son. I've raised him since he was nine months old. Okay. So he's... I'm not his biological father, but I'm his daddy. Okay. But he hadn't talked to the police. To Still. Have you talked to him? To David? It's very difficult. Um, well, he told me the story about knocking on all the doors and having to come through the window and meeting Sean in the hallway. And then Sean had the deer in the headlight look. David told me that. He never told the police. I had to tell the police that. So it's in the affidavits that it came from me because it never came from David. David was going in for an interview. Billy Jean was bringing him up there for an interview one day, and as soon as he walked into the door to go sit down at the table for the interview, she pulled the door open and says, no, David, let's go. I ain't putting you through this. So he's never been interviewed. And he was there the day before, all day. He was there, he, there's only a certain time period that he wasn't there. I would like to know before and little after what was going on. Why did he go to the, his best friends, the Beltrons, why did he go to the Beltrons' house at 11 o'clock at night to go spend the night? Who, David? David, at 10.30. The night before? That Sunday night. That Sunday night. David went to the Beltrons' house to spend the night. He came back at 3 o'clock the next day. That's when he came back, knocked on all the doors, knocked and knocked. 
and couldn't get an answer, so he thought nobody was there. He, he went and crawled into a window and ran into Sean in the hallway. Now, I've tried a lot of times to talk to David about this. As uh, soon as I bring it up, he gets, he gets very angry. And he pretty much yells at me and says he doesn't want to talk about it. So it's, it's, I haven't got to talk to him about this. Every time I've brought it up, he shut it down within seconds. And he's never talked to me about this. Because I've asked him, David, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? And he just started, Dad, I don't want to talk about this. So I didn't want to pressure him, or I guess. I, fine. OK, we'll wait. And I would ask him again, the same thing. I've asked him a lot of times, and he's told me the same thing, is he doesn't want to talk about it. How old was he at the time? 16. 16. He was 16 at the time? Yes. He's uh, 25 now. So he's 25 now. So older than Haley. Three years older than Haley. So after the picture was taken on the Xbox, he goes to spend a night somewhere. Or right before. Or right before. The picture, from what I was told, was 11 something, is what the FBI told me, that there was a picture taken at 11 something and of Haley on the Xbox. He left around 10.30 to 11. As a matter of fact, I do believe that they told me that he had pictures on the Xbox up to 10.30 or 11 until he left to the Beltrons. So the next day she had gone to her friend's house at, or was on her way to her friend's house, Haley was, at Supposedly. what time? I think it's in the affidavits it is, I that Sean said it was about 3 o'clock, 3.30, which is the same time that David got back home. And that supposedly is the last time that he talked or seen Haley. She said she was going to go to my house and then to a friend's house. And I was home all day, and she never came over my house. Did she ever left the house? No. You don't think she ever left? Mm -mm. You don't think she ever went walking down the road to your house? You lived across the field, apparently. I mean, at that time, right? A half a block, yeah. Half a block. No yeah. houses in between us. So I could see That's right. That's the right. house. And I watched the house with binoculars all that week, waiting for Haley to come home. Just watching for her to come through that door. And then that's how I know that Billie Jean had a party that New Year's. Six, seven days after this, she had her party on New Year's. I watched them carrying in 30 packs of beer. I've seen all the lights on. And I wonder how can you party? How can you celebrate anything within a week of your, within a week of your daughter being missing? You don't know where she's at, but you guys are having a party. You said that week you had no houses in between you and your daughter's house, you Just were watching. Open field. You were watching with monoculars, hoping she would come home. Mm -hmm. It must have been tough for you. Does, does it ever get any easier, especially not knowing? No, it's never going to get easier. But we're going to get justice. Haley is going to get justice. These people are not going to walk around free no more. Where's Sean at now? As far as I know, he's in Big Spring. What's he doing? I don't know. Um, he lives here? Yeah, with his parents. I've had people that seen him at Fast Stop, buying cigarettes several times. He's been seen at Subway, getting food. He's drove several different vehicles. And we see him at the park one time. I had some friends call me and said, there's a strange white pickup just strangely parking, parked up on the hill, and they're just sitting there. So me and my PI go up there, and it was Sean Atkins sitting in that white truck, just watching the kids play. Right here in Big Spring. Anything else you want to add that maybe I didn't ask you?
Yeah, give me a second. Oh yeah, I wanted to remind everybody of all of Billie Jean's actions that first week. Okay, within days, she was she changed out her furniture in her living room. Within days, she painted her entire living room. She got brand new curtains for her living room. She had money donated to her. She went and bought a new TV with. Um, when she went to jail for lying to the police, Sean went to go sell that TV to get her out of jail, to bond her out. That was for lying. She told a lie and told the cops Sean wasn't there. She tried to protect him and hide him. And it's just too many, too many, too much. It's all there. What do you think happened to your daughter? I think that Sean killed her. And I think sometimes, because of the fight that me and Sean got into, I'm sure I embarrassed him. I put him to sleep in my yard. And uh, I put him to sleep with a rear naked choke. I put my hands around his neck and I choked him out till he went to sleep. And then I called the police. And I feel so much guilt because I, I think that he might have killed Haley because of that. Same way I put him to sleep. That's, that's, a, that's in my gut. I think that was the reason he did it, because he was so embarrassed of me. So that was one of the reasons it helped him. There was witchcraft involved. There's too much evidence. There was devil worshiping going on. And that's why I want David to say something. He, he's got, he had to see something. He lived there. I didn't live there anymore. No he lived there, and I know he's seen some stuff. You think David knows something? Yeah. But he's told nobody. He's protecting his mom. But the truth is going to come out. Soon. I believe this with all my heart. I know this is going to happen. They're not getting away with this. Okay. <clears throat> Give me a hug, man.